Hi guys. Just give me a sec. Let me get a little organized. Oh, you guys, the reason why I'm a little late is because I did the 70s TikTok challenge. And I was like, oh, I don't, I tried. I couldn't, no, wait, I couldn't get this side. I don't know. This side just wouldn't act like this side. So we tried. <laughs> um, let me know if I failed or not. I don't know if it's supposed to look like this. I feel like it's supposed to be more even, but I feel like it's un I feel like it's uneven. I feel like I have more volume on. Is it this side? No, I feel like I have more volume on this side. Thank you, guys. When you guys get in the room, can you give the video a thumbs up? We're gonna get started here in about at the two thirty mark. Hopefully, you got you a little cocktail. If you guys want to know what I'm drinking, I'm drinking sparkling water, spiked. Oh, it just needs to be a little crazy. I feel like I'm going to ruin it. Like bigger. <laughs> I tried. Okay, sweet tea from Chick-fil-A. Uh, I can't flip it on camera, y'all. The wig may just fall out. Because, um, <laughs> you know, I don't do glue. You know, we don't do the glue. Mm -mm. Mm. Okay, I like my edges. I like my edges. So we just... Okay. That's no shade to nobody. I have very sensitive edges. I don't know about anyone else, but make the wrong move, they're gone. So we take pride in our edges, okay? I don't sacrifice edges for a slave. I just don't do it. Thank you, Sky Lily. Yes, I should be getting back to posting on the Feminine Yoni's YouTube channel very soon because I'm hiring a team currently. So let me go on vacation. Let me come back. <laughs> Once I get back, though, we going hard. We going hard. That's all I got to say. Thank you. You guys are so sweet. Oh, we're way over the 230 mark. Okay. So let's go ahead and get right into today's video. Um, these clips of alpha male strategies has been going viral like they've been recirculating on instagram on social media twitter and everywhere they have been recycled and they have gone viral isn't that funny how something could be like three years old and it is going viral all of a sudden so um i wanted to react to it because you guys Okay, I told y'all, this is what I wanted. I told y'all, this is what I wanted. I said, I want men to come to this platform and be raw, unfiltered, and uncut so then they can put us up on game, okay? So we can avoid men who think like this, act like this, talk like this, walk like this, okay? Because it's just a mess, okay? So in this video, I'm gonna be doing what's called a cleanup, okay? The cleanup on our three, four, and five because this is just a total mess. So the videos that I saw, I'm like, wow, really? That's how they be thinking? Interesting. So I will be cleaning up on our three, four, and five because it is a hot mess, okay? We talking about Walmart in the hood, okay? That's what we talking about. So let's go ahead. <laughs> Where the workers, where the workers don't even want to work there, girl. That's that's what we doing today. We doing God's work today. Okay, so let's get into this video. I told y'all I will never shame these men for coming on this platform and putting women up on game. How to avoid men like this? A lot of money. 
<laughs> Wait, this is part in this video that like really tickles me. Hold on, let me share. There's this, there's this part in this video. It just tickles me. Y'all about to <laughs> let me share. Hold on, it's hilarious. I just be like, really? Well, yeah, with the Wal Walmart with the lashes and glass cases. Stop it. You wrong for that, sis. You wrong. But you know what I'm talking about. Okay. <clears throat> so here we have this man here. Hold on. Because I know some of y'all want to see my reaction. So let's. <laughs> oh, if you guys have the full video to this, if you guys have the full video to this, can you email me? Because I would like to <laughs> learn more. <laughs> okay. I would like to learn more. I love to listen. A lot of money on dates. So me doing a lot of dates, I came up with a fucking scratchy. <laughs> so, I, mean, I do not spend over twenty five dollars on Wait. the first date. Wait, did y'all hear what he said? <laughs> do not spend over twenty five dollars. Hold on, 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 hold on. Hold on. We gotta start it over. We gotta start it over. For me. I do not spend over twenty-five dollars on the first date, and I do not spend over seventy-five dollars on the second date. That's a hundred dollars. Me doing a lot of dates, I came up with a fucking scratchy. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> he says scratch. I feel retarded. Strategy, strategy, strategy. He came up with a strategy. You know, you know, these are the type of men that are teaching the men that we are supposed to procreate with. This is crazy to me. Strategy, strategy. Strategy. Okay, let's get into what his strategy is. Does it seem serious? Okay, he got to use vocabulary words <laughs> that he's not used to using. So let's get into the strategy that he got planned for us today. On a lot of days, I came up with a fucking strategy <laughs> for me. I do not spend over twenty five dollars on the first date, and I do not spend over seventy five dollars on the second date. That's a hundred dollars for two fucking dates. Now I'm in New York, guys. If you're down south or something like that, obviously it might be a whole lot cheaper. In New York, shit, you can go on a coffee date and fucking get a hamburger, and you at a hundred dollars. I mean, New York is fucking high. So if I'm going on two dates with a girl, twenty five dollars on the first date, you want to keep your investment low. That way, you don't feel like you need to chase it if it fills those out. All right? You don't want to never feel like, man, I'm 200, 300 bucks in. I need to keep pursuing if she's not showing interest. That way, you can keep it fucking moving. If the shit ain't going the way you want to, or like on, on, a, on a second date, you can tell she ain't there romantically. You can cut your losses. And for me, $100 is a lot, not a lot of money. Oh, my. $100 is not a lot of money. But you have a $25 limit per person. Why don't you have a $100 limit per woman? I mean, I'm just saying. But the reason why I wanted to react to this today is because we're in a coffee shop, coffee meetup, coffee date pandemic, okay? These men want to take you to a coffee shop, <laughs> Pay maybe $6 for some coffee if it's, you know, on the higher end and call it a date. <clears throat> I had women trying to convince me that that was a date. A coffee meetup is not a date, sweetie. It's not. It's a, <laughs> it's a meet and greet, okay? Now, let me tell you what the meet and greet is for, okay? This $25 meet and greet, it's like a consultation, okay? He's filling you out. You're allowing him to fill you out off some $6 coffee, off a $25 budget, <laughs> so he can see if he can sleep with you, sis. If he wanted to see if he wanted to sleep with you, make him pay for it. Don't settle for no $25 consultation fee, okay? Um... <laughs> 
This is ridiculous. We are in a coffee shop, coffee meetup pandemic. Okay. Now this conversation does not apply to college students. It does not. It doesn't. But this does apply to us older, more mature women that are, you know, well off into our careers. We don't do coffee meetups. We don't do $25 coffee meetup consultations. We, we don't do that. Okay. Just so a man can fill us out for sex, because that is what he is teaching these men to do. If they want to fill you out, they can call you. Mm -hmm. Then you're not really wasting your time. He's not really wasting, you know, his time. Have him call you. You don't need to meet him in a coffee shop. Nowadays, you got FaceTime. You got Facebook Messenger FaceTime. <laughs> Come up with an excuse because I got a solution. You got Instagram, a uh, video chat. What are we doing? There's no need in you meeting in a coffee shop. He could just FaceTime you, call you. No need in him feeling like he has to spend $25 for a first date. That's not a date. That's a consultation to see if he can slide in and then slide on out. And what you're also doing is you're setting yourself up to get filled out for sex. And what he's doing, let me tell you what he's doing. You know what he's doing? When y'all sitting down for that coffee date, he's. Ooh, she desperate. I can get her. I can bag her. I can slide in, slide out. $6 coffee. Mm. That's what he doing. For those that don't know. Miss Jean. <laughs> <laughs> she said his strategy is to skip a skipper and eat strawberries while stopping, scrolling down the street. Stop it. Stop it. No, but that's what he's doing, y'all. That's what he's doing. Okay. That $25 is just a consultation. He's trying to fill you out, see if you're an easy hit so he can slide on in and slide on out for some $6 coffee. That is what he's trying to do. So, don't fall for it. Don't be having these men convince you that uh, they need to meet you at a coffee shop. They can call you. If they need to fill you out and see you face to face, they can FaceTime, video chat, okay? Uh, they got Facebook Messenger. They got Instagram Messenger. They got so, listen, technology got your back, sis. Don't set yourself up for a $6 coffee date, okay? And let me also tell you something. Now that I'm in a bigger city, Okay, some of these men be paying $1,400 for a fill me out. Y'all know that, right? Like here in Houston, it's a regular thing, girl. It's a regular thing for a man to do a fill me out $1,400 brunch. Your homegirls can come, your friends can come, they paying for everybody. You, you get what you settle for. So don't be no cheap fill me out consultation, see if he can hit meet and greet okay don't fall for that mm -mm. now do i feel like all men need to spend fourteen hundred dollars for a first date no no i don't <laughs> i don't i think it's ridiculous because when this man did it i said you know what let me shut up because this is the type of treatment i've been wanting let me shut up but i felt like it was a lot i'm like okay fourteen hundred and i can invite my friends okay <laughs> cool Yes. So, you know, in the bigger cities, you probably could get a four, a twelve, a twelve hundred to fourteen hundred dollar fill me out consultation. Um, but in smaller in smaller cities in smaller cities, I wouldn't expect that. You know, I would I feel like a decent fill me out first date would range anywhere between a hundred dollars and up. A hundred dollars and up. And it really depends on age, you know, finances, depending on what your tax bracket is. I really feel like it depends. And when I say what your tax bracket is, what your tax bracket is that you're willing to settle for. All of us can't marry rich. Okay. 
All of us cannot marry rich. So I'm, I'm, I'm being reasonable when I say that. All of us cannot marry rich. So depending on your tax bracket that you feel comfortable with depends on, you know, your range. Now, me personally, um, <laughs> I've never settled for anything less than 250. I feel like we need to have these conversations. I've never settled for anything less than 250. 250. Now, you can make some adjustments. It's up to you. Okay. Um, when I was in college, that was probably the last time I did any type of meet and greet coffee dates. Like I said, he can call you if he if he's trying to fill you up. Okay. Um, Ashley Don, thank you so much for the 1999. Thank you so much. You guys are so sweet. Y'all be gassing me up. Y'all are so sweet. Thank you so much. Let me go back up. Okay. <clears throat> so let's move on from this $25. I'm just telling y'all how these men think, okay? So if they're trying to meet and greet you at a coffee shop, yeah, first day, $250. What are we doing? Because let me tell you something. I can pay $250. What are we doing? Okay, I, I've paid two hundred dollars for a steak. Okay, I did it for the experience. So if I'm willing to spend two hundred dollars on a steak for the experience, and you can't meet me on that level, you're not on my level. That's fine. We're not on the same level. That's fine. Okay, and you guys should definitely try a two hundred dollar steak for the experience. Okay, you should. You really should. Because black people deserve luxury, okay? We don't need to be eating well-done steaks because we deserve that good premium meat, okay? The stuff our ancestors could not partake in, you need to be wanting those things. A $200 steak is a cut of meat you would want to try for the experience. Just saying. Um, if you feel like she's not worth experiencing... Um, that with then you didn't do your job you didn't put no pressure on her you didn't put pressure you didn't apply pressure what do i mean by applying pressure you didn't call her you weren't consistent y'all like to text call fill her out to see if she's worth that experience stop wasting your listen i'm honestly saving you some money he wants you to spend 25 dollars and run through every girl you can until you get sex This is why I'm here, okay? I'm building monsters. We're not doing $25 consultations. I know, I love me a, a medium well steak. <laughs> not, I like. I don't even like medium well, I like medium. I love medium. So, like, come on. If you don't feel like she's worthy, it's because you didn't do your job as a man, and that is, that's, that's, a, that's a you problem, that's not a me problem, okay? If you felt like she wasn't worthy, it was because you didn't do your research. You were not consistent. You did not apply pressure and you were not consistent with communication. Consistent communication. Consistent. Then you can keep your little $25. Okay, you don't even got to spend your little $25. You can keep that little $25 and save up your money so you can have a great experience with a woman that you feel is worth your time and worth the experience of a $200 steak. If that's what you want to do, you know, okay, you got an excuse. I got a solution. No dates after the second date. If you ain't fucked by the second date, mm -hmm. the third date, you invite her over to your house. Mm -hmm. We ain't going out tonight. You're going to come over and we're going to cook. What did I say? What did I say? I said, this is all about sex. So ladies, because you know, this is about sex. Use that to your advantage. But then they want to sit up here and talk about, I'm the prize. I'm the prize. But you want sex out of me. You want sex. But you're the prize. But you want sex from me. You want sex from me. But you're the prize. Okay. Oh, I'm just, sweetie, thank you for the $4.99. That's such a cute name, sweetie. That's cute. Okay. They the prize, but they want sex. 
Listen, y'all, we got to regain our power back, okay? We got to regain it because these fools got the game messed up. <laughs> they really do. $25 consultation fill me out fee for sex. Really? But you the prize, but you want sex. Okay. Listen, when these legs close, we'll see who's talking about who the prize. Okay. And we're going to talk on the couch and watch the movie, and that way you can make your move. And I'm going to tell you something, guys. If, she, if, if, if on that date right there you haven't fucked, you better at least get very close. Because if you don't, if she don't at least, if y'all don't at least make out, cut her loose. I have never in my life a girl I haven't fucked by the uh, fourth date, I end up fucking. None. By the second date, the third date. Hold on, we gotta, we gotta, we we gotta revise that. Let me start with this first. Um, <laughs> what did I say? I said those coffee shop meetups are what? I said the coffee shop meetups are what? A fill me out consultation fee, a cheap one. Make these men pay since they want sex from you so bad, since they're the prize. Make him pay. I mean, he he playing games. When you set yourself up on two counts, ladies. The first count is this. You set yourself up when you agree to a coffee meetup, okay? He's filling you out for sex. That's all that it is. Okay, he not trying to, he don't care about conversation. He don't care. He don't care. Okay, he trying to get in between them legs and he's trying to see how easy it is. That's one. Um, number two, you set yourself up when you meet him at his house. Cause now he's putting you in an environment that is very casual. Trying to, trying to get you to be more comfortable so he can make his move. How, like, how old are we? We are not in high school. We're not in high school. We are not in high school. There are plenty of women out here that are open to casual sex. What is this? What what is this? Don't do house dates, y'all. It's a setup. Unless that's what you you're into. Mhm. It's their territory. It you, you they they bring out all the tricks. The players, listen. Players do this. They take you home. without trying to properly court you. That's what players do. So keep in mind that when you sign up for that, you may be getting you a player and 99% of men who take you back home without courting you, he's probably a player. 99% of them are. He just told you. What did he... Let's let's rewind. Let's play this again so you guys can hear him again. Because this is how men move. I told y'all. I said, I want men to come to this platform and start being blunt, raw, and honest. Why? 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 Because they're putting us up on game. Okay? This was how I was raised. I didn't have nothing but men around me. And this is how they would talk. They would talk and they would coach me like this. Raw, blunt, unfiltered. Okay? Keep your feelings outside because when it comes to these men in these streets, they don't care. They don't care about your feelings. They don't care about your emotions. They don't care. All they want is to get what they want out of you and that is sex, which means if you're not signing up for that, you're getting played. So, if these men are trying to get you to agree to a coffee meetup date. It's not a date. It's a consultation to see if they can hit easy. Slide in, slide out. Real quick, real fast. No real investment, nothing. That's what it's about. Slide in, slide out. Slide in, slide out. Literally. Slide in and slide right on out. Okay? And they will tell you whatever you want to hear. Okay? So... Ladies, so are we going to do those coffee meetups? Are we doing the coffee meetups? Is that still going to be a thing? Now, to the college students, 
this really don't apply to you. It's this. I have someone in the comments saying, Yanni, you're generalizing. Let's let's look at this. Um, no, let let let's take a look at his YouTube channel. Hold on, because you're saying I'm generalizing. Do you not understand that <laughs> this man is influencing thousands of people, thousands, thousands of men, thousands. If you want to be naive and think that majority of men in today's society are not thinking like this, I'm going to need you to wake up and smell the coffee, okay? Maybe you need to smell some tequila because maybe the coffee ain't doing it, okay? It, the coffee may not be doing it. The coffee may not be doing it. You may need some tequila because I spiked my sparkling water with some tequila. You may need some tequila because the coffee, it... It's, it's not doing it, sis. It, it's not doing it. It's just not doing it. Coffee is cheap. It's cheap. It's cheap. And this is my thing. Do you, do you not feel worthy? Do you not feel deserving that you deserve more? You should feel like you deserve more. You should. Um, and to the people that feel like I'm, I'm generalizing, you gotta ask yourself, what type of man wants to just meet up for coffee? Just coffee? No activity. I'm very reasonable, I'm very understanding. But let's be real here. We're talking about the men today, we're talking about the men in this generation today. In times of uh, social media and, and app dating, you're telling me majority of men don't try to get you on a coffee meetup first date? Is that what we're doing? Is that what we're saying? Let me know. Because maybe, maybe I'm, maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. That's the first place they want to meet you. You can't, there's so many activities that you could do if they're trying to get to know you. They got pumpkin patches. They got, um, you can go and pick apples. You could go to an art gallery. You don't have to go to a movie. You don't even have to do a dinner date. Coffee is the best he can do. I'm not settling for that. If you want to settle for that, that's a choice. We all have our choices. We all have our choices. We all have our choices. I'm not settling for no coffee date. I'm not settling for no, uh, what, Netflix and chill? <laughs> I'm just not doing that. And let me tell you something else. To the women that feel like it's no big deal, there are other women out here that are getting way more than coffee for a first time interaction way more than coffee so if that's what you're settling for please understand and you are not satisfied that is a choice that is a choice that you're making i love art galleries i love going to the art district i love it i love it you can even go on a date and make your own coffee but a coffee date let's get creative you can go and get you, you can make your own coffee there's so much that you can do it's cheap, it's lazy, and it's just a feel me out to see if he can have sex with you. So please understand what you're signing up for when you agree to a coffee meetup. You can paint, you can paint wine. No, you can paint and sip. There's so much that you can do. Now, everyone's city is going to be different, but get creative. You can do more than just coffee. You can you can even go on a hike. But a coffee meetup, and you got to be careful with the walks too because some of these men, they'll try to take you on a walk for free to fill you out to see if you can have sex. So you got to be careful with that. You got to be careful with that. And y'all need, yes, you need to be in this energy of testing men when you date. Like, stop it. it this is the thing. When I first started dating, 
I used to I used to be so naive. I used to be like, oh, all I have to do is be myself. All I have to do is dress nice and present myself in a nice way. The whole time, these men are <laughs> planning, coming up with strategies and <laughs> trying to see how they could put you in a trick bag so they can sleep with you. So y'all, let's step it up. Like, let's meet them where they at. Okay, let's stop playing. Let's stop playing at their level. Let's play at our level, okay? We don't settle for coffee dates unless you're a college student. That's it. That's it. Now, coffee in a movie, okay. Coffee and hiking, oh, I can get with that. Coffee and um, a pumpkin patch, coffee, I, I don't know, a hayride, girl, I don't know. But it need to be coffee and an activity. Coffee, we meet up for coffee, we go for a hike, and then we meet for dinner later that night. Like, what are we doing? We grown. Coffee, hike, okay, dinner later that night. Okay, cool. And look at all look at all these men in my comment section working overtime. Look at them working overtime. That's cute. Y'all working overtime tonight. Y'all working overtime. See, they want you to be manipulated. They want you to have low standards. They don't want you to ask for much because it requires them not to do nothing. It requires them to be lazy. It requires them to sit in their mama's basement until they're like 30, 35, going on 40, losing their hair and stuff. Require more of them, okay? Now, to the men that are in here working overtime, okay? Listen, tip me while you're here. Go ahead and tip me. Tip me $5 if you can. Go ask your mama for some lunch money. Come back and go ahead and tip me that five dollars. They are these men on the internet are going to work overtime because they do not want women to gain any sense when it comes to dealing with them. Like they don't. They want you to be under their spell. Jessica Harris, she said, "This is disgusting to lure a woman to his home." This, yeah, he sounds like a whole predator. I would never date a man like that. And then put in a, a huge amount of pressure. Yes. Y'all gotta be careful. Listen, like serious, like all jokes aside, let's be serious for a sec. When you are going back home to a man's house and I have seen a lot of women, I have seen a lot of women for whatever reason meet men for the first time at their house. You know how dangerous that is? That's very dangerous. You got to be careful with that. Like, you can't play with your life like that. Please don't play with your life like that. It's very, very dangerous. It's very, very dangerous. And I know some women are still going to do it. So I'm going to just be the mom for a sec. Tell you, tell somebody. Don't just go to a man's house and not tell nobody. Okay? Share your location if you have an iPhone. Um, text, call your friend before you walk in the house with him. Do something, okay? Don't just walk in a man's house that you don't know for the first time. And that just, ooh. And to the women that are like, don't meet at his house, you got to understand some women are still going to do it. So if you're going to do it, notify someone. But I advise against it. Don't do it. Because let me tell you something. When black women go missing, nobody come looking for us. Maybe family, but there's no mass search ever. When's the last time you saw a black woman? We go missing on the hour, every hour. So when was the last time a black woman made CNN news, Fox News, national news for going missing? I'll wait. So when you think it's cool to go to a man's house for the first time that you've never met, think about what you're doing. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. <laughs> He said, I didn't have to ask my mom for it. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Show me.
me. Okay, show me. Okay, let me go back. Be careful with that meeting at the house, y'all. Y'all make me nervous with that. Please don't. If you don't do it, but if you're gonna, if you're gonna do it, call me, DM me, send me your address. Shoot, that's the type of friend I am. If you go, if you gonna do it, just, just, I'd rather be safe than sorry. If you're gonna do it, call me. Seriously, call somebody. Let somebody know. Don't just go to some man's house. Seriously, like all jokes aside, like for real, that stresses me out. On the couch and watch a movie, and that way you can make your move. And I'm gonna tell you some guys. If she, if, if, if on that date right there you haven't fucked, you better at least get very close. Because if you don't, if she don't at least, if y'all don't at least make out, cut her loose. I have never in my life a girl I haven't fucked by the uh, fourth date. I end up fucking none. Now listen. It's that, y'all. These, oh my gosh, I just moved to Texas, you guys. And these mosquito bites, mosquito bites, these mosquitoes are freaking huge. Okay, they're huge. I mean, they really be sucking on you, sucking all the life out of you. Okay, it's just ridiculous. They're huge, they're like flies. Jeez, they're like the size of flies. They're freaking huge. Okay, let me focus. Because <laughs> I'm hold on. Lady of the night here. I know what men will pay for ladies, so don't cheat yourself. Your needs come first. Thanks, Yanni. You're awesome. Thank you. Don't cheat yourself, y'all. Not for no coffee, meet and greet. Okay. Now you know you you you're if if no one has told you you're worth more than that, I'm telling you, you're worth more than that. Just a question. Why does it matter if he's filling you out? Ain't you filling him out too? It's on you if you give it up easy or not. Now that's very true. But don't call it a date. Yeah. Don't call it a date. And let me tell you something. When you allow a man to call a meet and greet coffee meetup like that a date, you're putting yourself in a tax bracket that is very cheap. That's the issue. It's not that these men want to take you out for coffee. Listen, I love coffee. I love coffee. <laughs> I drink it every day. But um, if I agree to a coffee meet and greet, that puts me in a very cheap tax bracket. And I'm not a cheap woman. I like experiences and listen, Dates are supposed to be about experiences, moments, memories, not a feel me out for sex. And so now that men are being taught to take you out on a date and have a budget of $25 <laughs> just to fill this girl out for some sex, see if he can slide in and slide out. You setting yourself up when you do that. And you got to be careful, too, because these men, they they can charm you, okay? They will, and they'll try it, too. They'll charm you out of your panties, sis. That's why you got to have your guard. You got to have you, you gotta have your antennas going. Like, oh, he trying to fill me out for $25 consultation for sex. I'm out. Like, you got to have, you got to be on guard, because these men will try it. They, they good at what they do. And this is why I wanted them to come on this platform and be honest and be raw and be blunt because it's like, okay, you're helping us out. Thank you. I appreciate. Listen, I don't have no ill will, nothing towards this man. I don't even know his name. Alpha Male Strategies, thank you, sir, for coming on this platform and being yourself. <laughs> okay, because you're, you're teaching me how to stay away from men like that. And, you know, the crazy thing, a lot of y'all keep saying these men are cheap, these men are cheap. Cheap when it comes to trying to get sex, yeah. They don't want to pay for sex. They want a, a $25 consultation fee is what they want. They don't want to take you out on a real date. They don't want to invest in you. That's what this is about. It's not about coffee. I love. I told y'all, I love coffee, okay? Ain't nothing wrong with no coffee. I don't see nothing wrong with after, I would say like the, I would say like the fourth or fifth date, he wants to take you for coffee, 
and a hike. I don't see nothing wrong with that. But we're talking about first date. First date? First date, we're settling for $25 coffee consultations? Come on. So, I don't know. There's another video that I want to react to. I hope y'all ready. Because it's very good. It's very, very good. Now, this one, I did not take it off the net. So, there may be commercials. Okay. Um, this guy, because y'all know I like to hear men speak. Okay. They put us up on game. They put us up on game. That's why you should listen to them. You don't have to agree. You don't have to like. But they do put us up on game. That's the only, that's the only reason I listen. Okay, anything outside it, I'm looking. I'm listening to see how dumb they are, how stupid they are, how lazy they are to see how I can get what I want. This ain't about them. This is about me. So hopefully y'all have that same mentality. And I wish we would, as women collectively, all the channels out here that teaches women about dating and blah, 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 would scale all the way back and start putting the information on uh, Patreon's private membership style stuff. I feel like once we collectively do that, these men won't know what to do. And you know, a lot of them, they don't have the patience to set up, uh, <laughs> they don't have the patience to, to set up a, a Patreon. Some of them really don't have time. They don't even know how to do it. They don't know how to do it. They don't have the patience to do all of that. So because of that, we can use that to our advantage. Now I'm trying to see if I can find this video that I watched earlier. Um, and yes, oh, here it is. It's right in front of my face. Uh, yes, you guys, Kevin Samuels will be in this video, but okay, he will not be the main one speaking. It will be someone else. Touching their self worth to money, then they drop their pennies for the highest bidder. I listen. I'm not telling. Listen, let me tell you something. A lot of the men that I've dealt with did not get sex until about like six months. So I'm not about to get into when you should drop your pennies or when you should. But I will say this. I will say this. When you drop them pennies. When you drop them, whenever you choose to do it, because it ain't my, it's not my business when you choose to do it. It's not, honestly, like it's not my business. Um, please understand, it gets harder to get these men to do anything. It gets harder to get these men to do anything. So when you do drop them panties, please keep that in mind. When you decide to have this man's baby, please keep in mind, it only gets harder. It don't get easier. So no one is attaching a price to their vagina because who said he was ever getting sex? Who said he was getting sex? He's working to get sex. He's investing time, effort, money, resources into getting sex. And this is why they're trying to get you to settle for that $25 consultation fee. It's cheap. Less resources, less time to where they can get in, slide in, slide out, and move on to the next girl. So I don't know where y'all got that assumption from. I, I don't follow no, oh, 90 day rule. It's time for me to, you know, hop on the saddle. Like, uh, <laughs> listen, these, let me tell you something. These men gonna wait as long as I want them to. It ain't never been no other way around. That's why when they be coming on this app talking about they the prize, <laughs> I didn't say you can have my milk and honey. You got to work for my milk and honey. So because you have to work for my milk and honey, you need to woo me out of these panties. You got to romance me out of these panties. They don't just, I don't just come out of these panties just because you took me on a $25 coffee date. Or even if you took me on a, a $250 coffee date, you got to woo, 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 woo me. Okay. Cause some of y'all can't woo me with an orgasm. A lot. Listen, let's be real here. These men can't even woo you with an orgasm. They can't. 
So you need to woo me. I need to make sure that I got wooed before I even got to the bedroom. Because the reality is, <laughs> a lot of y'all can't woo me in the bedroom. That's the problem. So yeah, you need to woo me outside the bedroom. Because quiet as it's kept, I may not be wooed when I get in the bedroom. That's the problem. So it, it just, oh my God. And I'm not, a, I don't pretend. So if you, if you want to set yourself up and pretend, and act like they hitting something when they not, that's a choice. And you're not getting a good experience. And <laughs> y'all need to stop doing that. Y'all really do. Because y'all be making it worse for all of us. It's like, dang, can we? I, I, uh, who said he was hitting something? That's crazy. No. Like, that, like, do you not understand that that's what this is about? Because some of these men don't know how to woo you in the bedroom and then they want to be cheap outside the bedroom. It just don't work like that. Okay? It just don't. So it's just a mess. And y'all need to stop lying to them about it. Like, be real about it. <laughs> Cynthia G is in here. You know, she don't play about that either. Okay? She don't play about that either. Okay? They need to be wooing you outside the bedroom. Then at least you'll feel What's some up, type everybody? of way. Welcome back. At least you, at least you'd be like, oh, you know, he did take me here. I guess I can <laughs> a little bit. I mean, like that's what it's really about. So I don't know. Like, you need to woo me. Okay, so I'm about to react to Jr. Wisdom. We're about to see what he has to say. This is about submission. Y'all know how I feel about submission. Submission, I mean, <laughs> we'll see what he's talking about, though. So this is about submission. Let's see what he's talking about. Let's be open-minded about it. <laughs> but we're going to see what he's talking about. Okay, and I, I, I feel like I, I, let, let's just, I feel like I already know how I feel about it, but let, let's just see. And let me make it bigger so you guys can see. This is JR with the JR Wisdom Channel. Once again, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. And if this is your first time checking out one of my videos, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button along with the bell. That way you receive all the notifications for all of my future videos that have content like this. So with that being said, let's hop right into today's video. So today, I'm going to be giving my commentary on this interview that Kevin did with this young lady. And... She's talking, they're talking about a number of different topics, but one thing that she's talking about is equality and basically standing side by side with her man and that her education is something that is very important and the difference between, uh, now, difference between women now yeah. and women a long time ago, 40, 50 years ago, is that Women are more educated now, so that's why they shouldn't be uh, as submissive as they were back then. So, with that, with that being said, guys, let's let's just go ahead and hop right into it. Are you quick to request? I mean, can you live in peace with a man? Can you submit to a man? Can you play the background? Wait, before you scroll away. Oh my God! I knew I should delete it. Republicans across the country are moving fast to enact. When you say play the background, what do you mean play the background? Play your natural role. My natural role in being a wife? You know, that's that's like a, nowadays You when you say play your role, play your natural role, that's an automatic, you know, that's going to set, you know, that's going to set a lot of these, these ladies off who really don't understand, but let's go ahead. Listen. <laughs> Listen, I just want to know, is he the type of man where all I got to do is play my role? Or is he the type of man that's going to require me to go 50-50 on bills? That's what I want to know. Play your role. The reason why a lot of us can't play our role is because these men not playing theirs. Okay? That's the problem. 
I mean, I, I think we as women would know how to play our role if these men would play theirs. Okay, let me get back into it. Okay, let's see. Let's see what else he has to say. Oh, damn. <laughs> Did I skip it? Hold on, let me go back. Look. Okay, well, when the burglar comes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I mean, can you live in peace with a man? Can you submit to a man? Can you play the background? When you say play the background, what do you mean play the background? Play your natural role. My natural role in being a wife? You know, that's that's like a, nowadays you when you say play your role, play your natural role, that's an automatic, you know, that's going to set, you know, that's going to set a lot of these, these ladies off who really don't understand, but let's go ahead. Yes, the background. I don't think a natural a natural role as a wife is in the background. Show me where in the world a natural wife is in front. She's not in front, but she's beside. No, she's not. Why she's not, Kevin? Are you out of your French toast line? <laughs> don't start. Don't do that now, Kevin. I'm, not, I'm just giving you my opinion. Okay. Well, when the burglar comes, are you standing side? When well, somebody's coming to break in the house, are you st side by side by beside your husband? Or are you standing behind him because he's going to have to take the bullet? To be honest, I'm standing beside my husband. Then you're out, you out of place. Why am I out of place? Now, listen. Okay. This, this is where I understand where Kevin is coming from. But what he's not understanding is there are not enough men out here that we can stand behind. Like, is he not understanding that? There are not a lot of men that we can trust to stand behind. And it's just that simple. There are not a lot of men that we can stand behind. There's not a lot of men that we can trust to stand behind. It's just it's it's just that simple. <laughs> I mean, some of these men you, you can't trust them. So it's just what are we doing? This is why, like, they they're so focused on grooming us to be certain type of women. But who's grooming the men? Who's grooming the men? Oh my god. Am I too masculine for it? Oh, oh my God. Hell yeah. Your, your place. Oh my God. Hold on. Why are it's, you out of place? I'm telling you why you're out of place. I mean, your I, place is be, behind your husband guarding the children. Okay. Oh, I'm really on here. Okay. So, when your mother, how about your grandmother? Okay. Your grandmother, your grandmother was she married? That's another thing, Mr. Kevin. A lot of these ladies on here, which I understand, it's a quick way to get some attention, to get some views, to get some follows by jumping on here. They're like taking in or they already looking to be argumentative. Some of them are looking to just go ahead, go along to get along and just listen to him just so that they can get in front of all of his viewers and whatnot. So many of them probably aren't going to, when he's giving them this advice, they are just like, Okay, whatever, and they don't take any of it in. It's just the the confrontation, which is what was basically they're getting the bad thing out of, which not even sitting back and soaking in what's really going on. I guess. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, Hannah. Let me come right back to you. Let me come back to you, Hannah. Was your grandmother married? Yes, my grandmother was, but that's the thing. With you. I'm trying to explain to you, we in two different generations right now. The generation that you're trying to explain to us. We're, my generation is not living like that anymore. Yeah, and that's why you're dying by yourself. Yep. But who says there isn't a man that's that's willing to take me for him to? And that's why I'm talking. Okay. Um. To the. Is it Fila? 
this is what I'm talking about. Like he has this old outdated mentality of what women should be trying to prepare us for men that are just outdated. Some of them are deceased. Like he's preparing us for men that don't exist. <laughs> Like the reality is a lot of these men don't even want to pump the gas no more. Like they don't want to pump the gas. They don't want to hold doors. They don't even want to pay bills down here, um, out here. So I, I, I'm trying to, to understand, but like, honestly, I think I could have some type of respect for Kevin if he focused on the men. He needs to focus on men more. Because he should be telling men, your wife should be standing behind you, not telling her where she needs to be. Because the reality is these, <laughs> these men don't even know their place. Like they don't even know their place because they're a lot of them not even in the home. He over here talking about, oh, you should run behind your husband. Black men don't even get married. Like, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Are we doing? It's like delusion. It's delusional. It's delusional. Unless he's preparing us for white men. If he's preparing us for non-black men, I could agree. But if he's speaking on black men today, the majority, come on. Come on. Like, it's, it's just ridiculous. Like, come on. I understand where he's coming from and to a certain to a certain degree I agree. But what what black man today is like we literally have black men online talking about I'm not putting my life on the line. I'm not risking my life. <laughs> Somebody said <laughs> stop it. Kevin will throw his high heel at the party. No, you know what he gonna do? He gonna run behind his man. That's what he gonna do. He got a man. What are we talking about? That was glitch. Girl, that was his man. He running behind him. Okay? That's what he doing. Stop it. Talking about he... Talking about he throwing his high heel. Girl, he got a whole man. He don't need to throw his high heel. He running behind his man. Where, where do you think he getting the information from? He know exactly what she need to do. Because that's what he be doing. So, like, stop it. He running behind his man. Me for, me, for one in four of you will marry. Oh my god! I mean, look, man, the stats don't work for your argument. And we just and they these women like this, they'll just lean on the thing. Times have changed. Times have changed. Roles have changed. No, the dynamic of yin and yang, positive and negative, male and female, will forever be the same. And we're trying to blur these lines and make it seem like, you know. The older people really didn't know because they weren't educated. And now we're more educated, but you're really dumber. What? If that makes sense. But anyway. Argument. Prior to 1965, black, black people were married at a rate of 80%. You go out to any cemetery, you'll see a black, a black man buried next to a black woman. Mm -hmm. But you go after 1990, and you'll start seeing black women buried around her children. Why is that? Because y'all are unruly, unsubmissive, and out of line. Oh my gosh. I don't know. You, you guys, I don't think I could finish. I don't think I could finish this, y'all. I, I really don't. I thought I could. I can't finish this. I, I just, I can't. I, I can't finish it. I just, I can't. It's just a mess. I tried. I gave it my best. I can't do it. And the reason is because. It's just ridiculous how they're trying to put all the blame on women. And the reality is, <laughs> if women didn't step up, if women didn't step up and do what they're doing currently today, we wouldn't even have a community. Do black men understand that? Like, we wouldn't even have a community. We, we, we wouldn't even have a place. We wouldn't have the hood to call home, even though the hood ain't the best place to be. But we it's still something. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, it's just, it's annoying. Like if we go to the grave site and there's nothing but kids, does he not understand it's because men have abandoned their families or started families with women and decided to leave? 
Did he ever wonder where the men were? They're buried next to their children. Where, 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 where are the daddy at? Where the daddy buried at? Where he at? Because he had to die too. I, I, I just come like, come on. I hate this conversation. It's stupid. I can't do it, y'all. Y'all sent me this video. I, I can't. I, yes, I feel like the blame should also be like accountability needs to be placed on both men and women. And if it's not placed on men and women, we're going to do this blame game. Well, you already know what side I'm taking. Traditional women do not want modern men. I agree with that. I agree with that. But these men, this is my thing. And this goes on both sides. You have women out here who want traditionalism, but then they want the perks of being a modern woman. Then you got men out here who want a who want traditionalism, but still want the perks of modern day women. So for an example, with men, they want traditionalism being submissive, but then they want you to go 50-50 on bills. That's not how it was done. When a woman was submissive, she didn't pay for shit. You paid for everything. So if you want a woman to be submissive, to submissive, you 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 need to get you a better job because uh broke and average at best it 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 it, it, it ain't working okay it, it, that ain't gonna fly and if women are signing up for that that's a choice you're being submissive to a man that can only you you split bills 50-50 that's crazy i'm not being submissive to no man that i got to split bills with 50-50 that's stupid i'm not doing that I'm not doing that. So either you're going to be traditional or you're going to be modern. It just depends on what you want. But I also see women that they they want a provider man. They want somebody to pay the bills. Pay my bills. I need you to pay my bills. But 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 then but then they don't want a man to leave. They want to be seen as equal. Um, they they want all this control. Like pick. Listen, I already know what I want. I know what I want. I know what I'm going to receive, too. I already know what I'm going to receive, okay? I speak this into existence. I already know what I'm getting. I know what I'm receiving. I know what I want. Y'all need to figure it out because this generation is just confused. And I understand why y'all confused. You're being raised in dysfunction. It's just dysfunctional. No fathers in the home. So you don't know what's right and you don't know what's left, what's right. You don't, you just don't know. And I get it, but it's, y'all need to figure it out because you can't be having these men pay all your bills, but then you don't want to be submissive. It, it just don't work like that. And then you can't be a man and want a woman to be submissive. And then you're not paying all the bills. Like make it make sense. And let me tell you something. <laughs> Majority of black men, they can't get a submissive woman. I said it. Yeah. They can't afford. They can't afford. They cannot afford. They cannot afford a, a, a submissive woman. That is the reality. They cannot afford a submissive woman. Not not with no average at best. Not not with no average at best. Best. They can't they can't afford a submissive woman. That's just the reality. So whenever I hear a little Dusty talking about submission, like what, what, whenever a Dusty asks you about submitting and all that blah, blah, blah BS, ask him what the plan is and how much you want to bet. I bet you a hundred dollars. They don't have no plan. Well, let me ask you, how many, go, listen, go to a restaurant on Friday or Saturday night and you'll see a mama. You may see her with her mother and a bunch of kids. There will be no husbands. In Atlanta. Or Camry for people with reading difficulties. Oh my God. Reading and studying always go together. Go anywhere that has a family social gathering. And that's mostly what you'll see. Women with their kids. No husband in sight. Or when even even when it comes down to delivering a baby, 
you won't see the man there, but you'll see the mother there helping the woman deliver the baby. You know, a lot of times. And it's just crazy how this is like the dynamic and everything is cool. And I check this out. Next time you people watch, just if you do people watch just in 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 passing, just pay attention to that when you see uh, a young lady. This this is this is why I'm having an issue receiving this message. OK, he's really sitting here. Making this about women not having a man and, and making it seem like they're the reason. Has he, like, some of the women that he sees out in public, okay, the man abandoned his family. Like, does he, is he not, not all, but a lot. So some of them just simply didn't want to be there. They didn't want the responsibility. We are on this app every day. I see men complaining about being a man. You're complaining about being a man? And I'll be praying to God, like, God, why are they down here complaining about things that they have to do because they're men? I don't be complaining. Every time I get my menstrual cycle, I, I take that back. I do. I be like, ooh, I be bitchy as hell. I be bitchy. But you know what? I get through it. These men today, they 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 complain about being men and, and they're soft as hell. Okay. My daddy be saying, y'all soft as medicated cotton. You know, the type of medicated cotton that you use in the hospital. That's what he be calling y'all. Y'all soft, weak, just soft. But then you want us to birth your children. Like, make it make sense. Make it make sense. You're soft. Let's call it what it is. You're soft. I hate it when Kevin says <laughs> women will die alone. I worked as a CNA and black men die alone. Like, girl, we had to beg for one man's children to their father. Yeah. Girl, listen, unfortunately, out of my friend group, I'm the only black girl. Well, no, it's me and my best friend. No, yeah. Me and my best friend are the only two out of my probably like 12 girl group of friends that had a father. Two. Two. And I remember as a young girl, I felt like, oh, I couldn't complain about my situation. Even though I had daddy issues, I couldn't complain about my situation because I'm like, damn, at least my daddy around. But that was that. Sadly, that was the only expectation back then. That was the only expect, expectation that we collectively as black people had when it came to fathers. Oh, at least he there. But I was emotionally neglected. So it's just it's it's just a toxic cycle. I'm a black male. You seem fair compared to a lot of other female YouTubers. Well, thank you, Dante. But I wonder if you're going to feel like that when this ends. Because, you know. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Somebody said. <laughs> yeah, he's. This whole conversation is a mess. Um, Let me go down. Oh, wait. Did I pass a comment? I'm trying to read all y'all's comments. Y'all know, I like to interact with y'all. I'm trying to set up call-ins. I really am. Oh, wait, is it this one? Hold on. My parents been married almost 30 years. My mom didn't work the last 20, and my dad owns his own business. What the hell I look like getting with these dusties? <laughs> okay. I just It just don't make sense, y'all. It don't. That's a good marriage too. That's that seemed like a good marriage. It do. Men think a woman being submissive means they should put they should put with they should put up with whatever disrespect they dish out. That's that's facts. That's why when it comes to submission, I feel like when you are in a committed relationship, you both are submitting to each other. That's how I see it. You both are submitting to each other. Um, I feel like the man should lead because majority of the burdens should fall on him and you should assist him with the burdens that you guys face together. But the burden should definitely, definitely fall on him because he can emotionally, mentally, and physically handle it because of his hormones. But a lot of times we women are left to deal with it all. And that's the problem. 
So of course you got this woman right here, educated and feels like she doesn't need to submit to a man because she's basically doing everything on her own. No man is going to come along and take the burden off of her completely. So because of that, she doesn't feel the she doesn't feel the need to submit. What am I submitting to and why? For what? What's the reason? What is, what is the reason? So it, it just it just it, it has to make sense. Thank you for the two dollars into the beyond. Thank you so much. I'm trying to get to all of y'all. Hold on. Because I think I skipped somebody. I know somebody, 36, her man begged to have a baby. And now that it's happening, he's acting like he's a child and running. And he's almost 40. See, I don't got time for that. Are they married? Now, listen, the only reason why I'm saying that is because a man can't run so easily when you have them on papers. OK, now I'm not telling you to go out here and marry some dusty with no resources. But if a man switches up on you after you get pregnant, at least you with through marriage, at least you have him on papers. And you have access to things. That's the only reason why I'm saying marriage, because. I'm not telling you to go marry some dusty. That's a choice. But if you're going to get pregnant by a man, get him on papers, marital papers, so you can have some legal rights as far as when it comes to finances, so you don't have to go through the court, use your own money to get child support, going to court, paying for court fees, lawyers. It's just a mess. Get him on papers before you pop out his baby. Like, that's how I see it. Because if you if you take the route of getting him on papers through child support, you still got to use your own resources and money to do that. And I'm not doing that. OK, I'm using his resources. I'm using his health care. Um, I'm using he, he paying the copay fees when I go to the doctor for doctor's visits. He paying for everything, anything that I need that I want. He's paying for because we're married. So get him on papers. That's how I see it. It's it's not about marriage being safety net. Like, yeah, he could still lose. Like, he could still walk away, drop you, but it's going to be harder for him to do that when you have him on papers for marriage. It's just facts. And listen, we could talk about love and we could talk about all this other uh, BS in between. But when it really comes down to it, marriage is a business and um, women need to protect themselves. So it's harder to walk away from you when you're married. That's just the reality. And then you got to, if you're not married, then you have to use your own resources to get this man to show up in court. And I don't feel like that's fair. Wait. Uh, Duchess, I see a lot of women that say that. My dad would be lucky if I'm there. Yep, these men. That's why I'm like, let listen. I don't. There's no reason for you to argue with these men online. Karma comes back. What you put out always comes back around. So I don't even argue with them. Like you got to answer to somebody when it's all said and done. Um, at the end of the day, this all happens naturally. I never heard my brother ask his wife to submit. She naturally did it because of his actions. Okay, thank you, Violet. Thank you for the four ninety nine. Thank you for the message, sis. Thank you. This is re the fact that this even needs to be said. It disgusts me. It does. It's disgusting. Like this is just common knowledge. It's common. And her kids in tow. In any place that's really a, a family establishment, for that matter, doctor's office, barber shops, things like that. I've taken pictures of restaurants full of women and children and no men. Well, how many women at that point of time? had degrees and education. There, everybody what the French toast is your degree mean? It, why doesn't it mean anything? What is you your degree? Know. But why doesn't it mean what is, what is it? What's the degree? That's not the question. I yes, it is. Yes, it is. No, no, I'll tell you. I, no, no, because, because almost 90% of the degrees women get are in humanities. That's not the question, my boy. Yes, it is. That's, that's not it. You don't seem to understand. Humanities and liberal arts, which really 
for the most part, you just to say that I'm the most educated, but you're also the most in debt at the end of the day. This small percentage in the United States, you're the most educated, but the most in debt because you're choosing BS degrees. Listen. <laughs> I can't do it, y'all. I, I tried. This was, this was, I can't. I can't do it. I, I just, it's just ridiculous. I can't do it. And the reason why I can't do it is because we're choosing BS degrees, but then you're sitting here telling us we have a place. We have a place, but we're choosing BS degrees. I just, I don't get it. Like, I just, I, I don't, it's just, it's just, it's just, come on. Like, it, it's our, everything's our fault, y'all. Everything is our fault. Everything. Everything is our fault. These men will never own up to anything, nothing. But then earlier in this live, we had a man <laughs> talking about lying to women for sex, which promotes what, ladies, out of wedlock births that's why i wanted to react to both of these so you could see the contradiction when this live is watched back kevin samuel's talking about oh, every time i go out to dinner all i see are women because you got men out here teaching other men to red pill and create more out of wedlock births and create more single mother homes so the next time you're out Mr. Kevin Samuels, and you're wondering why there's so many women at dinner with their kids. Go to that side of YouTube and really consume their content. Like, it's just pathetic at this point. Like, it really is. It's ridiculous. <sighs> Ellie, that is very true. Thank you for the $10. You're right. That is, that is very true. That is very true. That's very true. Uh, it, 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 <laughs> and, and you know why, Ellie? You know why that is? Submission is really only left for husband and wives. You know why that is? It's because both wife and husband, if you are living truly by the Bible, both wife and husband submit before God. Oh, that's why. But you got these dusties out here that don't know a scripture if it smacked them in the face and prayed to God and I don't know how long talking about submission. Like, sit down. <laughs> Please, sit down. Please, just sit down. I'm trying to, I know I'm, wait, did I miss a $10? I Y'all, I lost it. If I missed it, I'm sorry. I'm trying to find the $5 one. StreamYard is just a mess. And I can't find it. Oh, no. I think I lost it. Hold on, this is it. Oh, here it is, here it is, Moesha. Oh, it's, how do you pronounce your name? Where do they get these facts from? Like, the women could be on a play date with other moms while their husbands are at work. Uh, assumptions? You know, they can't read statistics. <laughs> you know what I learned about black men recently? They always read statistics in a way that speaks on the men that participated. Like an example would be, they always be talking about 85% of black men marry black women. But sir, how many black men are participating in marriage, 37%. Oh, only 37% of black men get married and out of, out of that 37%, only 85% married black women. Got it. They only like to focus on the men that participate. They never focus on the population, the percentage of population compared to the percentage of men that actually participated. That's how dumb they are. I'm like, y'all are ignorant as hell and slow. If you don't know how to read statistics, just say that. 
Because there was a point in time I didn't know how to read them correctly. Okay? And I got educated on how to read them correctly. So they love to focus on the men that participated, but they never compare those percentages to the population. Compare it to the population and come back. Because when you compare it to the population, you're comparing it to other men. And you know how black men hate it when we compare them to other men. They hate it. They hate it. They only want to be compared to us. Or they only want to focus on the men that participate. They only want to focus on the good guy. Like, it's just BS. The, listen, the good, the I told y'all, the good guy is a liar. The good guy is a liar. You know, the ones that wear suits in the pool pit but be sleeping, got mistresses all up and through the church. Got to watch them. Got a nice smile, heavy cologne, good talker, fast talker. Them the ones you got to watch out for. Hold on. I'm not finishing that video. I, I can't, y'all. I tried. <laughs> If you want to check out his YouTube channel, JR Wisdom, check him out, girl. I can't do it. I tried. Um, are, wait, Asia Marie, 999, thank you. Are they saying black men are too perfect? Like, this makes young black women with no kids not want to procreate with them. And you shouldn't. You shouldn't want to. Um, they're saying to stereotype them like racist people do to black people. Yeah, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I'm sorry. Like, I'm I'm not, when I have a daughter, I'm not grooming her to date black men. I'm not. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not setting her up to fail. Now, I'm not saying my mama set me up to fail. I think my mom wasn't getting educated and caught up with current events. And the current events are black men are just, they just, they, they just, they dropping the ball. They dropping the ball when it comes to education. We're speaking statistically. When you, when we speak on statistics, we're comparing you to other men, not black men who participated. <laughs> I don't know why y'all, but that's just hilarious. Not the men that participated. We're talking about the population. And when we speak on the population, we have to compare you to other men when we do that. Okay. Which means only 37% of black men get married. And I think white men and non-black men, I think it's, it's what, like in the 70s? That's a huge difference. <laughs> Wait, how he going to see men out for dinner if they're... Or did you mean how he going to see men out for dinner if they all taking free walks to Starbucks? <laughs> Stop it! No. No, 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 seriously. I don't know. Like I said, they out, listen, they're too busy out here creating single, other single mother homes. Like, they don't care. Oh, and yet they talk down on black women on birth control. That's why I don't know why y'all listen to them. Listen, the only time you should really tune into them is when you're trying to see how you can, you can, Use the information that they're speaking on to your advantage. Like, that's it. That That is it. That's the only time you should really tune in to their nonsense. Otherwise, it goes in one ear and out the other. Like, I don't be listening to them like that. They can get in my comment section and do whatever they want to do. It ain't bothering me. It ain't changing no program over here. It's just not. And I'm going to... I'm going to log out. Like I'm exhausted watching that. I'm 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 exhausted from this live. Like it just it really got to that point of just being overwhelmed with dust. Uh my eyes are red. I feel like it's because of my makeup. It's just a mess. So uh, I got to get out. I got I got to get off of here. Men need to stop dating women long enough to be scared for life. They date for looks not cuz of compatibility. He has to blame himself for his poor choices. I agree. Listen, like, you guys, I fit the stereotype for, I, t I tell y'all this all the time. I fit the stereotype for the Instagram baddie, okay? Y'all heard Brandon, okay? Y'all heard Brandon. Y'all heard him, right? Y'all heard him, okay. Um, this, I deal with that all the time. Like, they, they love to be flashy. I, you guys, if I have the photo, <laughs> I was... 
there is this man that I was on FaceTime with. And he, you know, he making good money or whatever like that. And if I can find it, I will show you this photo. Okay, this man had on a... Ugh, I cleaned out my phone, so I do not have it. Let me see if... I, let me check my Google photos real quick. This man was inside the house, and he had on his $23,000 diamond necklace on FaceTime with me. And I'm just like, is it really that serious? It's, it's not. It's not that serious. So what I'm getting at is the fact that he's trying to be flashy and he's trying to woo me with his flashiness, which is tack. It's tack. Tacky. It's tacky. Please stop doing it. It's tacky. Um, so he's trying to woo me with his tackiness and, <laughs> um, but say I was the type of girl that was impressed by that tackiness. Um, you're wooing me to, to do like, you're wooing me with your money. That's what you're doing. Oh. I, I have to, I, you guys, if I find it, I'll show y'all what I'm talking about. It's ridiculous. This man was really in the house with no shirt on, with a, a, a $23,000 necklace around his neck. Like, I, I can't make this up. I just can't. And I screenshotted it when he wasn't looking, because I'm like, this is what I be talking about. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm trying to find it. I can't find it. But if I do find it, I, I, I'll, I'll show y'all what I'm talking about. It's a mess. I'm like, you're in the house. Put on a shirt, take the necklace off, and just relax. It, it's just, it's not, it's not cute. I don't know what man needs to hear this. It's, <laughs> it's just not, it's not cute. It's not, it's not. It's just not cute. I don't like that. It's, it's just tacky to me. Um, but yeah, like Brandon, he came on his next live with a necklace on. <laughs> and I guess, listen, I have to keep it real though. There's a lot of women that fall for that. Oh yeah. I heard about the black man that won that 30,000, uh, no 30 K lottery, bought a 20 K golden chain, wearing it to a gas station only to get it snatched off his neck. Like the pro their priorities are like kids children just children so it's 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 a it's just a turn off don't be flashy with me i got a man right now he don't think i know he trying to figure out how he can impress me without throwing his money around and he he avoids me because he doesn't know how to woo me it's pathetic y'all i'm like damn but the reality is he's never met a woman like me it's ridiculous i'm like damn women really be women can easily be bought nowadays and so now when a when a when a man comes across a woman that is not easily persuaded by flashiness they don't know what to do and a lot and it and it also heightens their insecurities too that's another thing their insecurities start to show because they're like dang i got the money i got the car i got the jury she's not impressed no i'm not i'm not impressed at all so it's, it's just a mess it's, it's just a mess i would rather see you put that whatever you spend on that necklace in a trust um, an investment account, something. It ain't, ain't even my money. I'm not even asking you to do it to give me some money. I'm asking you to do it so you're not looking stupid in in 20 years. Talking about, oh, I wish I would have. I wish I would have put that twenty three thousand dollars I had that I spent on that necklace in a, a a trust fund or an investment account or played with the stock market or something. But hey, I can't be easily bought. I just I can't. You gotta actually put in some work, okay?
this Mercury retrograde. This is why I haven't been on YouTube. But I'm going to end this live. Um, hopefully, you guys learned something from that, that weirdo that was in the beginning of this video and the other weirdo with the kitten, with the kitten, the kitten heels. So hopefully, you guys learned something. Um, you guys have a fabulous night. Um, if you want, you know, my more um, <laughs> raw content, I like to be on Instagram with it. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. Before you guys leave, though, make sure you thumbs up this video, please. Share with your girlfriends, okay? We need to get everyone. Everyone needs to be on the same page when it comes to this coffee meet and greet $25 consultation because that's what it is. It's a fill me out to see if he can slide in, slide out, literally, so he can leave you high and dry. Don't fall for it. If you want um, after hours, uh, raw, more blunt, uncut, follow me on Instagram, okay? You guys have a fabulous night. Make sure to thumbs up before you leave, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. If you are wanting me to react to something, send it to my Instagram. Send it to my Instagram. Send it to my Instagram because I'm trying to go live until I go on vacation because I don't have time to edit. So if you have something that you want me to react to, you want my thoughts and opinions on, please send it to me. I love you guys too. You guys enjoy the rest of your night. Bye.